Hey guys, uh, I don't want to see. You see, you see my back there. I don't want to see that. Please close the door, Baba. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for coming here. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Say hi so, and leave. I need to talk to the vlog. Hi vlog. Thank you for coming here. Welcome to our channel. Our channel? Yeah. Okay, welcome to our channel. Thank you for coming here and look at our channel. Tell them don't forget to subscribe, don't like, forget, comment and share. Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe and comment and share. If you don't subscribe, we can subscribe, yo. Uh, at least we're not beating you up this time. No, I'm not okay. beating up. This not beating up anyone this time. If we say you smell no. good. Did you just take a bath? Yeah. Okay. And if you don't, then if you say no, then we're gonna beat you up. Okay, we're gonna beat you up if you say no to subscribing. Okay, give, ah! me, give mommy some space. I need to talk to the vlog. Hi, guys. Should we do this again? Hi, guys. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to a weekend vlog. This weekend, we are heading to Durban. If you've been on this channel long enough, you will know that every November, December, I'm child free and I'm for the streets. <laughs> Uh, my mom goes on a month long leave in November. November is my birthday, is her birthday month. Uh, I wish it was my birthday month. She was born in summer and she was born on the 27th. She was born like people are really in the festive mood. It's hot and it's after payday. What more do you want? But anyway, my mom always takes a month long leave on her birthday month. And during this time, this is when she takes my children. And yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you've been here long enough, you'll know that every November my kids leave but they usually leave towards the end of november because the reason why they would leave towards the end of november because we would wait for alwanda to finish her exams which would finish around the 20th of november but now alwanda is already in durban as you guys know but milani will have to go if though it is quite early for milani to be going we are on the first weekend of november the reason why i have to take milani home is because your girl is formally employed <laughs> bo, 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 bo. <laughs> I actually haven't said that. Your girl is employed. Um, I've been employed now for the past three weeks. I've had a job for the past three weeks, and the reason why I'm taking Milani home is because the job is full time on site. No hybrid, no work from home, nothing. And it's such a a shock um, to mine and Milani's system because I've had Milani since conception. Basically, I was pregnant in 2019, gave birth in March 2020 when the country went on a lockdown and I was fortunate. I mean, I know it was a bad time for the world, but I was fortunate enough to be able to stay at home with my children for full two years. Like I raised Milani, I stayed home with her for full, the first full two years of her life. I was, I was mother. I was a present everyday mother and then on year three she started school and then I had a job where but my job was hybrid and I think we were only into the office twice so it felt like I was still at home and then after that job it, I had the recent job that I just quit now which was full-time remote it only became hybrid towards the end to just before I quit in a corner foods it wasn't anything set so I haven't had a full-time on-site job since Milan has been since before I was pregnant. The last time I was in the office every day, I was pregnant, and that was five years ago. So I'm struggling to adjust. Um, I'm struggling to find my way because the, the office is in Santon. I'm struggling to find my way. So my mom was just like, just bring Milani as soon as possible. My mom wanted me to bring Milani the week I started the job. I started the job on the 15th of November, I mean, of October. And um, it's my mom has been saying bring the child bring the child and i'm just like no let me figure it out let me figure it out and also i've been extremely lucky to have the most amazing support system bali uh, my cousin bali and my friend ayanda are with me full time um until the end of the year so they've been playing a huge role in making sure that everything's well adjusted more often than not bali has been picking milani up because i knock off at five Ayanda's cooks, even Namanja Ayanda's cooking, and I'm just like, this is the life. But 
I do need to be able to focus on my job without I'm new at, I'm starting and I'd like to learn as much as I can and focus without having to worry that I need to rush home and be with my child or I need to leave early because I need to it's it's a lot and the job I have is I want to say 90% of the job I prayed for so you guys um, obviously last time we spoke when I did the life update I was still unemployed at that time and I did say I don't know what's next I went on of like a little fast just for God to tell me like what do you want me to do like is it corporate is it this what what is it you know and I knew it wasn't going to be YouTube because as mentioned on my previous vlog YouTube is not making me money this year I don't know what's going on somebody's rigging the system YouTube is not making me money this year. I mean, I am making money, but not enough, you know. There was a time where with YouTube I could pay my rent and one of the children's school fees. Now I'm lucky if I can pay one child's school fees. So there came a point where I was just like, obviously YouTube is not going to work for me. Um, I was living off my savings. I was living off my provident fund. I um, was living off my investments. And there came a point where I was just like, okay, God. <laughs> We're not going to survive anymore. What is it? Um, like, what's going on? You know, I would interview. I was very selective. Also, again, I mean, where I was applying and which interviews I would take out. Interview here and then, rejection, rejection, rejections. But I never really felt sad about those rejections because it felt like I don't even want to be here. Like, it's fine. It's not a job I wanted anyway. But I was just applying because I'm scared. And after, I guess. Four months yeah three and a half months of unemployment i remember just sitting one day saying to god god i'm not going to be able to continue living like this you need to make a plan now i am very aggressive with my prayers guys with god i am probably the most entitled little girl god has ever seen because as the chain i'm just like you bless me with these kids you blessed me with this house. You can't take that away from me. You must make sure that my kids life is not changed. You know, must make sure that I can provide for these kids. And luckily I've been able to provide, but like there came a point where I was just like, okay, cool. Amanda, realistically, say in Zan. Realistically, say in Zan. And then I think, you know, when like, I don't even remember applying for this job. I, and I think when God says, it's okay, then stop complaining. God was just like, okay, cool. Like, got called for an interview everything with this job was done in two weeks it was quick 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 and whew, guys i feel like i've just been like rushing speaking fast because i'm still in disbelief everything was done in in the space of two weeks um and in that two weeks i the only people who knew about what was going on was my sister norma and Tato, and that was because Tato was someone I saw every day during my downtime. Yo, when I was um, when I was on the YouTube break, I was down. It's like I was actually I didn't realize how down I was, um, but I was down. Like I, I was feeling down. Things were just not emotionally, mentally. I was not okay. And Tato works full time remote, and she made sure that girl made sure. God bless her heart. She made sure she was there. You know, if she wasn't here at my house, you'll see. Like in my previous vlogs. It's either Tato's at my house or I'm at her house. But when I was at her house, I wouldn't vlog. Because, I mean, it's her house. But, like, you know, so, obviously, because those are the people. It's either I was at my sister's house or I was at Tato's house. And because those are the people who, at the time, were physically, physically available for me. So, those are people I was just, like, you know, who knew about this process. And, you know, oh, I remember, and I think it was my second interview, Tato praying for me. Even though I think it was the second interview also when my sister was just like, yo, yo, guys, I don't want to cry. But like, it's obviously the people who are closest to you who see you and know what you're going through and know what this period in your life is doing to you. So they bring, they come together, they put their problems aside and they lift you up in any ways that they know how to and in any ways that they know that you will feel supported. And then as the process went further and further, um, yeah, I had, um, I, I, cause Ayanda was also here. Then we came back all from Durban, like, Ayanda and I came back from Durban together. And Ayanda was around when it was like, boom, around five of these, um, process of this job. And I remember a previous colleague of mine calling me, well, she sent me a text and she said, Hey girl, 
someone just called me for a, a reference of the best and for me I was just like oh shit when it's reference time the job is mine but there were so many things that happened where I'm just like this job is mine but I didn't want to believe it because I didn't want to be disappointed and uh, and when I got the phone call that I got the job I was with Ayanda and I she was shaking I cried tears well I guess there's nothing else to cry I cried tears and it might be confusing to you guys because I always say that I'm not a corporate girl I'm not a corporate girl I am not <laughs> that will never change I'm not but that does not change the fact that I still need to be able to provide for my children and up until I figure out what it is exactly that I need to be doing that's going to make me eternally eternally happy then I will have to take what I can get and my prayers to God to my ancestors was always a put me in a place where you know it's going to be good for me you know it's we always pray for the jobs but I think this time for me because I know like not to sound like I'm bragging I know I'm good at what I do I know I'm highly is it highly not highly requested that's like a YouTube language I know that I, I've always known that when I want to work when I want a job I'll get it so I never really I hardly really prayed for a job but I prayed for an environment that will suit me my personality and everything that I am and God said go don't worry God put me in a place where I can see that I'll be fine I've said on this channel a couple of times that I belong about food Abasfuni, and I struggle to work with them. I've said this before, and I know that a lot of people um, don't have ex great experiences with black women. I have. I've been working for 14 years. You can call me a job hopper. Um, what is it? I'm a job hopper. Basically, I've been working for 14 years, and I've worked for a lot of companies. I'm a job hopper. You can call me a job hopper. And in the 14 years I've worked, I've been mistreated mis mistreated ooh, mistreated by i think you know, at most two black women two and i've worked with a lot of black women because my industry is run by women and so basically what i'm trying to say is i've had great experiences with black women and i know a lot of people here whenever we talk about when i quit a job and i always say for me is what i cannot work with mahua i cannot work with white women because but I've always said that, yes, as black women, so I've always said that black women, black women, I am where I am because of black women. My first, first boss was a black woman. She made sure that, yes, as I'm where I am because of black women. So when I was praying for the environment, I prayed for my boss, what kind of a boss I want, God said, but my boss is a black woman. <laughs> Milan is imitating me. My boss is a black woman and I mean I know that's too soon to tell but you, you you know people's energies you can feel people's energies you can tell what kind of people they are what kind of people they will be in the long run and I feel like God gave me the most authentic person to report to and that's all I pray well that's one of the things that I prayed for. I think that in terms of the role, I'm a copywriter. I work for a law firm. I obviously, I'm not going to say which one, but it's one of the biggest law firms. I work there as a copywriter, and in terms of the job, in terms of the environment, everything is exactly what I prayed for. I just forgot to tell God that I need the job to be hybrid, at least. At least hybrid. Yeah, maybe not remote, but at least hybrid. But you know what? I'm not complaining. I have a lot to say. I always have a lot to say. I've been talking for 15 minutes and this is supposed to be a weekend vlog. But I want you guys to... I'm sharing this. I share my life here with you guys because I want you guys to take my life as a testimony. Amanda Jakes is signing in now. Take my life as a testimony. You guys have seen me through the worst of the worst here. You guys have seen me through bad times and then you've seen me grow. You've seen me evolve. You've seen me cry. You've seen me laugh. You've seen me down. If... Uh, in, uh, on the, I was, I was, I was, does, you know when you're just like, does hell have a basement? I was in the, I've been in the basement of hell in this channel. You see me, you see me going through the, the absolute most and I always come out. All I want to always leave you guys anytime, whether it's about relationships, it's about your baby daddy, it's about your friendships, it's about your job, it's about your finances, especially because I know my audience are single moms. Uchezi uzodunga. I think I've said this so many times on this channel that nothing is forever. 
it always works out. Kunezinda that when they happen, you don't see that they're happening for you. You see it as just like Kantimina, when is it gonna be my turn, you know? And you see everyone around you thriving, doing well, and you just like when is it gonna be my turn? And Lieza, Lieza the corner, and sometimes your turn comes, but you we are so consumed with the negative we don't even see that we are actually living in my dreams or living in your turn it's your turn it's always your turn in something and for me i feel like okay cool it's my turn now i get to continue being able to provide for myself and for my children i don't have to beg nobody for money and i think that for me that has always been a thing here but i don't like don't need to be calling these men begging them to pay school fees you know I've, I've been very blessed obviously with a great support system they will never let me down but that thought of knowing could see I might have to call someone for an extra thousand rand call a deadbeat for an extra thousand rand I might have to humble myself to a deadbeat it's just so disgusting to me and I always always so grateful that God always I make impulsive decisions and God God always catches me you know I, I one time when I quit not this job but the previous job I was telling one of my clients at that job that I'm leaving and she was just like oh where are you going I said I'm not going anywhere I'm taking a leap of faith and she says oh yeah no then you know when you leap the universe will catch you and I never forgot that Every single time when I'm left to make a decision that is going to be good for me. And remember this lady, her name is Carrie. She said to me, when you leave the universe doesn't have a choice but to catch you. So with that being said, but basically what I'm trying to say is, whatever it is in your life, always choose yourself. And trust me, everything will work itself out. Choose yourself, choose your happiness, choose what comes out. I know that I'm speaking from a place of privilege because I've got a support system. I've got, well, not anymore, but I had savings. I had my my investments. I had all of that. So I do know that what is into that I will never understand that other single mothers go through. But I know that it's tough. I'm not saying quit your jobs, guys. I'm not saying all of that. But I'm just saying, Guti, most of them are many right now take me as an example you guys have been here with me for three years you've seen me through the worst and the worst and the worst and doesn't it always all, all work out isn't it all on the 11th hour god comes through you know god came through for me where i was just like ah uh -uh, god <laughs> mm -mm. i have enough money to pay my children's school fees but like i can't lose my house granted i'm renting here but this house is exactly what I've been praying for for the past two years. You can't take that away from me. And God was like, fine, fine, keep your house, here's a job. But yeah, with that being said, um, Guningi that I'm still adjusting to, um, Guningi that I'm going to be adjusting to, but I'm extremely grateful that I get to be able to, I, I, got, I put in my position, God put me, God and my ancestors have put me in a position where I can take care of my children. That has always been the most important thing. Take care of my children. And make sure that they have a life that I never had. And I get to do that. I get to continue doing that. And I've been speaking for 20 minutes. I've got a job, guys. I'm okay. I remember when I've been when I was when I started sending my friends the appointment letter. So many of them are just like, oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. I was so worried about you. And I'm like, this is the same things you guys said last year when I quit the other job. <laughs> My friends are just like, yo, Amanda, we support your decisions, but then we worry about you. <laughs> and um, even with my mom, when I sent her the offer later, my mom was just like, oh, thank God. <laughs> I think that people around me know me well enough not to be like, are you sure about this decision but they still worry but they know me enough not to worry in my face because it's always at the end when i find out that people were worried about me you know like you were worried about me but during my unemployment i've had the most amazing support systems my friends my family my friends who showed up for me physically financially my friends who paid for dinners my friends who came to my house to just be like Hey girl, you okay? My friends, not even just my friends, some of you guys, some subbies, y'all sent me money. 
So I've been extremely, extremely lucky to have an amazing support system, my friends and my family, and my friends and you guys. So thank you so much. Um, I hope my friends and family don't stop sending me money. <laughs> but you guys, I appreciate it. Um, in my life, wash your pants. So it's for you to be just thinking to send a stranger of money, whether it's via super thanks or whether it's you actually sending me money on my phone. It's it, I know that takes a it's it's a lot. So thank you to you guys. I mean, my guande, don't stop. You can stop doing it for me, do it for other people. Um, all you can do for me right now is just watch my vlogs. And with speaking of vlogs, the real reason why I couldn't finish Vlogtober is because your girl, a girl is a full-time corporate baddie. I do not have the time. Now, mind you, I just got home. Luckily, I ended up cooking. Bali fished me early from school, so I, uh, like, I, I, I'm about to take a shower at 6 o'clock. I'm about to take a shower. 8 o'clock, I have to be in bed. I wake up at 5. My routine has completely changed, and I'm still adjusting to it. And I think that's why it's going to be so beneficial for to go home while I figure things out. And in January, we will start properly. There was a point where I was just like, should I actually even move because I'm struggling to make it on time to fetch her? But I'm just like, I can't move because the biggest prayer I had during my quiet season was, God, please don't take away my house. Don't make me lose this house. So for me now, I'm just like, God said, okay, cool, you're not going to lose the house. Then I move. So that's for me, it contradicts what I asked for. So I've got a lot of like thinking and decisions to make. Should I change your school? It's a lot. But I want my day. I want to bask in this. And I want to, yeah, like I've been rambling. But basically, point of this this is the long-winded way of saying your girl's got a job so those who are worried thank you you don't have to worry anymore those who who have supported me financially my subscribers thank you so much you can well if you can continue afford it i mean damn do it but i'll rather for you guys now do it for the next person you know um there are other single mothers who need assistance more than i do uh, and then number three is we are going to Durban. So when I'm done, I'm going to I'm very excited. I'm going to spend a little time with her. Unfortunately, I got an in and out ticket because flights are expensive. But I would make the most of the day. I also want to see my friend in I haven't seen her since I left Durban. I mean, it's been a month, but still, I would like to see her. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop talking for a very long time. I'm going to stop talking because I've been talking for 24 minutes now. Thank you guys. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna stop talking now. I'm gonna stop talking. Your girl's good. Sissy Righty. Basically, Righty fairly, but to be honest, basically, figures Katy where I was just like, okay, what's the move? What's the move? What are we doing? But um, I want to thank also a couple of my friends, Uze, too. Um, also, Rose. Oh, God, Rose. Um, they are two spiritually gifted friends of mine who basically was just like a fast go quiet fast they also said don't quit YouTube but fast so it's, it's people like that who make you feel like there's a light at the, they, they, there's a reason why you say this you know make you feel like there's a light at the end of the tunnel so yeah um, good to again. I mean I know spiritually gifted people so I'm not going to say thank you but you know what I mean channel like thank you to you guys my friends my family thank you to everybody who helped me down during this time do it for others as well do it for yourself as well and don't forget that it all works out i will see you guys we're gonna go to my sister's place because we're living from or um so i'll see you guys when we get to my sister's place um i'm not gonna talk to you until we get to Durban. i've spoken to you enough Telling me 
that I'm too lazy You are the one that is going crazy Yeah Cause you can't even hold your own But you always know what's wrong With everyone else How is that? You gonna have to call your friends Tell them that you're gonna be late Cause I'm gonna need you to explain There's been a whole lot of trying, whole lot of crying, whole lot of telling me I should be dying or be like you, but I don't wanna be like you. There's been a whole lot of trying, whole lot of crying, whole lot of telling me I should be dying or be like you, but I don't wanna be like you. 'Cause I could do, I could do better. I could do, I could do better. I could do, I could do better than that. And you should know, you should know. Ten past five now. Um, we're about to leave to go to the airport, and I'm just like sitting here. I think I've said this on my channel, but that was two years ago when I said this. I grew up without my mom, me. Like she wasn't around like 24/7. Obviously not because she was a deadbeat, but you know she had work, she had work and stuff. So there was a day where my kids and I were chilling on the couch, just chilling, just chilling. And it hit me like how privileged I am and how privileged my children are because time is privilege. We were just chilling on the couch watching TV, something that I never got to do with my mom and sister because my mom never had the time and time is luxury, time is a privilege. And I was just like, Ugh. you know, it's not like I look at my kids, I'm like, I'm so jealous of you, you know, in a good way, obviously. And then this morning, um, my cousin Bali was trying to do something with Mulani, and Mulani was just like, no, she wanted me to do it. And I was just like, aren't you privileged? <laughs> aren't you? I'm just, she's right here, so I'm looking at her. But I'm just like, aren't you privileged? Aren't you lucky? And it got went back to that thing, you see. It, it, I, I don't know what it, now I know as an adult but as a child I didn't know what it felt like to have your mother around just doing things for you to have other people want to do things for you and you're like no she's gonna do it for me and she actually does it for you and it's just like hits me now about our children privilege is not a right word it's, I don't know I want to say time is luxury and we have the time to raise our children and so whenever you start feeling like oh you're not doing enough in, in, just remember that you are giving your children time and whenever you're feeling like oh you can't take your children out to ice cream or movies or whatever because of finances just remember that there were children who grew up like me who didn't have time with their mothers at all so and then i look at my children and i'm so jealous of them and i look i look at my children i'm like i wonder what it feels like to have a present mom i'm so jealous of you you have a present mom and obviously i know my mom couldn't be present because of work it's not that she was a deadbeat but now she's present shame my mom is fully present but i always wonder at that tender age of four five sixteen what it's like to have a present mom if you did have a present mom let her go no because the way sometimes I just don't understand how my kids, especially Milani, it's just why are you so obsessed with me? Why? Anyway, let's just quickly head to the airport. It's it's quarter past five, and um, boarding is at quarter past six. It's gonna take us 30 minutes to get there. And when I get to Durban immediately, so the reason why my hair is like this, immediately when I get to Durban, I am going to go do my hair. I'm going to sit in the chair and do my braids. And then I'm hope yeah, I need to go do my hair. And I'm hoping to see my friend in a way today. Yeah, I'm going to go to the hair salon. Zama's going to do my hair. I'm hoping to see my... No, you're not doing your hair. I'm hoping to see my friend in a way. Uh, and think I'm coming down with flu and I hate it for myself because I just recovered from flu. Anyway, let's go quickly. Let's go. I'll see you guys in Durban. Let's go. 
Wearing trances Going all to different places, different planets Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty-handed You like the fast life You like to drive and get down and dirty like, like the black guy You want some love, you like when you feel like calling me going straight to the salon I'm gonna eat in the car I'm going straight to the salon to go do my hair let us go welcome to Durban and let us go I need to call my friend no because we are meant to see each other today where's my dad um, meant to see each other today I need to call her but let me go do my hair I'll probably start my hair it's half past eight now I'll probably start my hair like half past nine hopefully be done by midday because I'm doing braids um, actually not even midday, she's so quick because I could be done by 11. Oh, here's my dad. Um, let's go. Let's go get my hair done. Just take a look at yourself. Do you really think it's gonna help? If you always fight in yourself, trying to forget how you felt. Just take a look at yourself. Can't even be your own friend Cause your way just stuck in your head How do you think it's gonna end? Nothing that they could do Nothing that they could say Nothing that they could do To take all the pain away Sometimes it works out and sometimes it don't Sometimes you win some and sometimes you won't But we could be everything, everything What's the sun? 
Hello, my baby. Hi, guys. Um, so Maui and Luca currently, and I was digging through her bag because what's hers is mine, and it's always been that way. And I found her camera, and I was like, why don't I just go say hi? Hi! Hi! It's been a minute since you and I have talked. It's been a minute. Minute, 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 minute. But I hope you guys are good. But that's not the point. Point being is that, let me talk to my peers now. Hello, boy, baby. Get the exam season. Yeah, it's hot, hey? This would be such a perfect day to go to the beach, yes. Yeah, it's hot, there's no wind. Did I mention I, I think I forgot to mention that it's hot, there's no wind. Did I mention that it's hot and there's no wind? I don't know. Ah! Guys, watch this, guys. The things we do for the sun and content. As I was saying, it's exam season, little baby. Study, 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 study. Otherwise, news are calm. News are calm. AJ, stop. Um, I, I've written two papers so far. I wrote my English paper one and my LO on the same day, bro. Imagine. Uh, you guys, I'm getting sick during November exams. I don't know how to feel about this. Uh, I get this up for me. Yeah. Yes, yes. Got to tell us where I managed. My mom is here. I'm opening the game. Let's see, little baby. Let's see. My mom is here. Ah, you look so pretty. Like, hi, mommy. Hi, I like your hair. Thank you. Yes. Hey, stop. Mama. Hi, on your way. Give us a quick 360, Yana. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The, oh, yes. Oh, yes. The skin is glowing. The hair is eating. Oh, yes. <laughs> you guys as you would have seen my hair is done i just had to tie it up in a bun right now because girl the heat in durban today um it's so bad that i didn't pack anything properly because wawa yesterday told me that because we arrived this morning and wawa told me yesterday that it was windy apparently it was windy yesterday today guys not to get feel i'm not even gonna put on makeup nothing i'm just gonna put on some earrings and i'm actually wearing wawa's dress you guys will see it in the thumbnail or i'll, I'll post it here I'm wearing all my How nice is it to wear the same size clothes as your kids? I'm wearing all my because what I packed is way too hot for this weather and this dress is just perfect. Let's go to lunch. No way is on the way. And I need to sneak out. Let's go to lunch. <laughs> I wish I had the same delusion. That I do when I was two and Didn't think that I could ruin Anything at all, I could never fall I wish I had that same conviction Convinced I never need a fixing Yeah, that girl really knew her business Where did she go? Yeah, she thought she could do anything Thought she could get anywhere Confident she's number one And if not, then everybody's wrong Used to be calm, now I can't remember how I used to do it That I was a member of Confidence Club, cause that don't last forever I wish I saw what she saw, I wish I knew what she knew I love how she just stoned it, but sadly I've grown it I know I'm still that girl, but I don't know how to show it Like she knew, like she knew, she knew, she knew wasn't really ready, no, I had to grow Up but it's so heavy and I'm feeling low I'm learning all that was wrong for me And I wish somebody would've issued a warning No, they did, but I kept ignoring Didn't wanna have to face it But if I don't, I know it's gonna break me, oh Yeah, she thought she could do anything Thought she could get anywhere Confident she's number one And if nothing else to become now I can't remember how I used to do it that I was a member of confidence love cause that don't last forever I wish I saw what she saw I wish I knew what she knew I love how she just stoned but sadly I've outgrown it I know I'm still that girl but I don't know how to show it like she knew like she knew 
she do, she do It's like sitting in a boat Wondering if it is going to flow Now that I packed all my things Is there anything else that you can know? Yeah, all that shit that I can When the baggage is heavy Baby, I got a lease in a world Please don't tell me I got a lease in a world It was a nice, I guess we won't say breakfast, but it was brunch. But that place is nice and they serve breakfast all day. I do not, I'm not a person who enjoys like, I will never wake up and be like, oh my God, let's go out for breakfast. The only time I say, oh my God, let's go out for breakfast is because breakfast is cheaper. But there are places where I'm just like, I can go out for breakfast and not eat it. But now I'm on place number three that I will wake up and say let's go for breakfast number one is Jamili well the pantry love 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 their breakfast my sister took me out for breakfast there I think three years ago and I've loved it since love 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 the breakfast at the pantry there's a specific breakfast which is similar to what I ate today actually um there's a specific breakfast that I have at the pantry and number two it's this place called the diner in Krukersdorf um, I'll never go again because the service when I went was horrible um, the, the the waiters and waitresses were giving white people will get first preference even though I was probably there was only like two people at the restaurant myself and another like white guy but you could see the way they handled the white guy and the way they handled me was so different so as a result I never go back but they did have good breakfast I finished my breakfast number three is this place I didn't even get the name of this place but it's a point La Pizance, like a South Beach, say somewhere there. Um, I think the menu does show the name of the place. I hope, but if you are in Durban or if you are sorry, guys, this wind, or if you are um, trying to come to Durban, um, treat yourself. I'm home now. I don't know where my dad is. His car is not here, so which means he's definitely not around town. But I came back. The kids, one kid is studying for her exam, and then the other kid is passed out. When I left, this one was swimming. When I left, the older kid was swimming. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is it change? Gaga, we love it. We do like I. I'm not putting my I don't wash. I'm just gonna wash some dishes and I'm gonna cook. Um, yo, it check has get guys on weekends. I thought it was just a Joburg thing, but it's still it clearly it's just a checkers thing. Checkers on weekends takes forever. I ordered before nine. It's quarter past four, and I've been here since half past three. No, not half past three. We left the restaurant at half past three. I think I got here about 15 minutes ago, and I made time because I remember thinking, let me go home by four. Let me get home by four so I can spend time with my children. I ordered a checkers at half past. I ordered when we were leaving in South Beach. It's a six. Like, yeah, I don't know if you guys will be able to see. Okay, let me try and focus. But, oh, I was just checking if my mother's address is not here. But you can see, I, was, I ordered a 330 watt, and ETA is six. I ordered at half past three and ETA is six o'clock. King 60. Check us 60. Isn't 60 60 minutes an hour? Why are they taking an hour? Two hours actually. Half past three. Oh my god, they're taking two hours and 30 minutes. And I want to cook. But luckily, because there's someone, I think my neighbor is playing a cool home. So I'm going to get copyright. I don't want to get copyright, so I'm just going to switch off. I'm going to cook. I'm going to make Milani some nuggets. I'm going to make um, some vors because on the order there's also in uh, what is this? Fuck man, there's rolls. So whoever wants to have both of us rolls while they wait for the food, um, I'm also going to make. Guess what I'm making? <laughs> I'm making a potato bake. <laughs> 
I like baking a potato bake because Iba Ningi and it lasts my family a long time. My mom doesn't really cook. But my sister called me and she said to she asked my mom to take him fino. And he has him fino in yes, yes, but it's basically. Is it what you guys call morojo? Is it morojo? It's not spinach, but it's like five to being spinach. Um, apologies if that's if it's not morojo. And he has him fino in yes, 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 like I can't even try to tell what it is. Um, no, my head asked my mom to make that, and I know my mom likes making that with upu too. So, I don't know, maybe that's going to be an extra, extra meal. But when I am at home, I like to leave my family with lots and lots of cooked food because I do know that my mother does not enjoy cooking as much as I do. And now that I think about it, I'm irritated. Uguti, maybe, ch maybe pick and pay will be faster because I love a bottle of wine, honey. I would love me a bottle of wine. Let's see. If picking you know, 287, no darling. I would love me a bottle of wine right now. Not even a bottle, I'd actually like a glass because I need to sleep early because my flight is at six again tomorrow. So I have to leave early. Let's see what time pick and pay says to deliver. Last I checked, yeah, I see pick and pay at least. Let's see. Let me order the pick and pay rolls, even though I've already ordered the chicken what chicken swans. Because pick and pay is always cheaper, yeah, twelve. Um, no, no, no. Okay, guys, let's order some pick and pay. Um, I was about to say, my dad doesn't drink wine, so I don't know. He probably will have to because... Shane Blank, what do you mean you know, couldn't find? Uh, anyway, guys, sorry. Let us cook. If my delivery gets here before... Um, guys, you pick and pay, Lana, I know, Joanna. I've got alcohol here. It's showing me vinegar, it's showing me wine glasses. I go. It's Saturday, most. It's not like guys in Durban and Tigia and in Chalk Days on Saturday. Yeah, it's just showing me JC Leroux, non alcoholic. I care. There's no point. Let's cook. Well, I'm gonna wash the dishes off camera and then I'll cook with you guys. instead of six still took two hours so I just bought a few things so I can finish cooking I got some rolls and that's why I made them what did I make Woo, what a boss. I got this chicken because I don't feel like cooking chicken, you know what I mean? So I got this chicken to have with this potato bake that I'm making. Obviously mushrooms, some cheese. These Viennas were on sale. And some, what is this? Danone. Danone. 
borrow your phone. Thank you. For how long? Two seconds. And cream. Okay, let's finish cooking. And I will see you guys. Um, my mom should be. Oh, baby, I'm You said a couple minutes before you came home. Left. But yeah. he said he was going to stop by back match or and then that's what he left. Okay. Like he's not coming back because me and my father I think we know so much we Oh, that's a lot of things. Um, okay. I'm going to continue cooking and then obviously we're going to spend some time with my family and then tomorrow same time five o'clock out of the house to get to the airport i think actually tomorrow my flight is early yeah you're leaving yeah you just came i literally just came to drop me nanny off <laughs> just like the video said stop anyway um yeah let's finish cooking and i will talk to you guys ah wait <laughs> You've got the banana. I don't know how this happens, and I don't want to know how it happened. Guys, no ma'am. How do you, tell me, Ine, as a person, as a human being, how do you come and stay, not even for 24 hours? Girl, it's 24 hours. I do not pay expensive school fees for you to not know what 24 hours is. I got you at 8. Wait, what time did you say you leaving? At 5 a.m. Oh, I heard differently. What five did you think I was over month? Now? Oh, okay. But like, yeah. She just came to drop off Milani and leave. Kanja and Manji, guys, like, make it Came to sense drop to off your beautiful sister. You guys can have fun together. <laughs> I don't know if we're hearing the guys, same thing. Guys, you cannot play inside. Please go play outside. Go play outside. It's too hard for me to be screaming. You're already losing your voice. But yeah, she's leaving me. I'm gonna nimble say why. I got a job. I need to go back to. Do you work in the office now? Every day, dude. Yeah, why man. do you think Milan is here? I thought it like I think to Milan. Finally don't get no fuss, finally be riding on my way. Finally woke up with some luck in the back I don't give a what someone, someone say Finally got my friends in the back on my roller We gon' make it big one day We gon' make it big, I say We gon' make it big, just stay in the Stay in the moment Stay in the moment with me Since you got lost in November See it in your eyes when we leave for the night Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind Let the flame burn down for a while Let the flame burn out for a while Stay in the moment Stay in the moment with me Give you a moment to Give you a moment with me Smell all the roses Smell all the roses with me
it's just um I'm so grateful to have a job. Obviously, I came back home to, I feel like I look like I just woke up, but I did. I came back home to obviously um, drop off Milani because I've got a job now and it's every day. So the adjusting, it's a lot, but I'm choking up. It's so fucking sad to say goodbye to my children. It feels like the first time all over again when I said goodbye to Arande 16 years ago when I had to go back to school. And every time I come home, come home, stay for a little bit, say goodbye, come home, stay for a little bit, say goodbye. The guilt got so bad that I literally forced things and I took my children after having Milani. And it was such an amazing decision, it was such an amazing feeling because I get to wake up. Yes, it was frustrating, stressful, but I get to wake up and be with my kids, come back from home, be with my kids. Now having to leave them again, and knowing that this is going to be often, I do not want to say that I sound ungrateful, guys. I don't want to sound ungrateful. I'm grateful for my job. I love the environment. I, love, I mean, I've been there for like three weeks now. I'm loving everything except the fact that I have to go in every day, which is taking away time from my children. But with that being said, I know that I'm not the only one. I know there's a lot of you mummies here who've had to leave your kids for days, weeks, months, years on end because of having to go hustle and work for them. I think that, you know, we, we all find solace in the fact that you are doing this for them. You know, you are working for them. It's for their betterment and for them to have a better life. But yes, it doesn't take away the pain. It doesn't take away from the fact that I just want to be here or leave with you. I just want to be with you, basically. I just want to be with my children. But anyway, let's go back to Joe Bank. I was supposed to go meet up with my friend Ukunyi, so when I get there, but um, we've decided to just do like a proper weekend next weekend. Um, she's going to come over on Sunday, probably going to cook, but that's next week's things. So now I'm going to go to back to Joe Bank. I don't know if my sister's fetching me or not. Yesterday she was like, mm -hmm. I'd rather send you money for how train. Fetching someone at the airport is a love language. Do you not understand? So, um, let's go back to Joburg. I'm going to go straight to my place. I need to go fix my nails. And I don't know how much they're going to charge me. Guys, this nail broke. And this nail also broke. But So, what I have here is a tip. So, I want to probably just cut them. Because it's two nails that has been broken. This hand is still fine. These are still all my nails. But I'm probably just going to have to cut everything and stuff from scratch. Because what is this honey so now that i'm not going out with Kunisa anymore the money i would have used out with Kunisa, i'm gonna go use it on my nails you guys also I forgot to mention not only am i grateful for the job and not only am i grateful for the opportunity i'm also grateful to have a family like my mother actually i'm grateful for my mother to have a mother who's able to take care of my children when i can't i know that it's such a privilege to have a family um that does that for you because not everyone ma and uh, now go pet for your twelve kids. Um, speaking of said mother, she's disturbing me while I'm vlogging. But um, I'm very grateful to have a mother like her, um, who takes care of my children when I can't because Gabing Tin. Let's say I have the job, but I didn't have the family. What would I be doing? What would I do with that with the kids? You know, so count your blessings if you you know are blessed like me. And I'll see you guys when I get to Joburg. And I think immediately when I land, I'll go straight to the salon, do my nails, so that at least by 10, 11, I'm done with everything. I want to sleep, I want to rest, and prepare for tomorrow. Let's go back to Joburg. Protecting my peace for so long. A little too good now, I'm so low. Watching reruns of the same shows. Almost everybody on my no show. Even with green lights, I don't go Never been sure, no, I don't know How does everybody has to let go Of the ego? Don't go out nearly as much as I should Barely 